Hello and welcome to a video on Noisemaker. In this video I want to cover how you can use the ZBrush document to create an alpha and then import that alpha into your Noisemaker. Now what I want to try and do is create some kind of diamond pattern that can go along these three plates here. Now the one benefit of using the Noisemaker for this, which you're going to see later on in the video, is once I import this alpha I'm going to be able to scale it as large as I want and then change the depth of that alpha being uh, a process to the three plates and what's great is it's going to be the same across all three of these plates. So let's begin by creating our diamond shape first. So I'm going to go to my document and I'm going to make sure that my document width and height are the exact same. So I'm going to adjust these to 512 by 512 just so that I have something that's a perfect square and tell ZBrush to resize. ZBrush is going to go ahead and resize and if anything's in edit mode, like I had this in edit mode, it's going to be dropped to the document. So I'm going to clear that by clicking Control N. Let's start by grabbing our cube 3D and drawing that out onto our document and putting ourselves in edit mode. I'm going to turn polyframe mode on so that you can also see what's happening here. Creating a poly mesh by clicking on make poly mesh and I'm going to switch to our move mode which is going to allow me to use my transpose line. So I'm going to snap to the center and hold the shift key so I keep along the line of my cube and now I can hold the shift key and just stretch out the cube to create a diamond. So I'm not going to create that any bigger than the document itself. So the next thing I want to do is I kind of want to make it have a little bit of a raise here so that's kind of a, a lifted surface so it's not straight across. So we're just going to pull some of the polygons up. I'm going to do this by switching to my select lasso brush and when I do that I'm able to click on any of the edges to select a perfect edge loop ring. So I'm just going to continue doing that. You can see once I've selected out the middle half I'm going to go ahead and switch my selection and you can see what we have here. I'm going to mask everything off and bring everything back and now you can see just that section is masked off. I'm going to inverse that and go back into my move mode and I'm going to make sure that I'm looking straight ahead and straight up as far as the transpose line goes, right up from the center and now all I have to do is hold my shift key and pull up and I get a nice little surface there. So we have a nice little diamond shape and I also want to stretch out the diamond a little bit more okay so we're going to unmask everything I'm going to make sure I'm at the center point and just stretch that out make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to add a little bit of rotation to this so it's not so perfect from corner to corner and there you have it and now I've just created a nice little diamond shaped pattern for us to be used within the noisemaker so all I have to do is go to my alpha grab dock Here's that alpha now that I want to use. Now let's just export that. Now that I've exported that diamond shape, let's go back to our original mesh. I'm going to go ahead and make my document bigger again so that we're seeing more space to work with. Now that we have our object back, we have our three plates selected. Let's go ahead and import that alpha we made. So going down into our surface noise, I'm going to click on noise and we're going to have the three plates here that I want to bring in an alpha. So clicking on the alpha on and off will allow us to search for any alpha that we've created. You can see that I've imported that diamond shape that we have here. So the next thing I want to do is start seeing what's happening with this shape on my three plates. So just so you can see what's happening, we're going to play with our strength a little bit and you can see that a pattern starts to appear. So we need to scale this down and I'm also noticing that I really don't want the pattern to go everywhere on these plates. So I'm going to mask out the parts that I do want that pattern to go. So turning on my polyframe mode, you can see that these plates have polygrouping. So I only want the green part to get this diamond shape. 
So I'm going to make sure to only have that showing. I'm going to go ahead and mask that entire thing off. Bring everything back and then inverse my mask. So you can see what happens now when you do this is ZBrush is masking off the other parts of the plate and that pattern that we have is only being applied to the top of the plate that I'm looking for. And now I can continue editing this and if my strength is too much or I want to go the opposite direction we have that capability within the noisemaker and this is what's really great about the noisemaker is you're getting that same pattern across all three plates and I can change my scale and make this any size that I want once you have what you like go ahead and hit OK and then to apply that pattern to our plates all you need to do is click on apply to mesh and you can see that the noise is off and when I clear my mask that pattern was only applied to the sections of plates that I want and that's using the noise maker with an alpha and creating your alpha from the ZBrush document thank you for watching this video and please continue to watch more on pixelogic.com